this is uh, Alan Shore, and I want to talk about how I came to write this book, The Right Brain and the Origin of Human Nature. I'm now at the point where I have published nine books, which has been translated into eight different languages. And this ninth book, The Right Brain and the Origin of Human Nature, is a recapitulation and an expansion and validation of regulation theory. And essentially, the focus is on not only Freud's unconscious, but also on right brain to right brain communication that is always occurring throughout life, etc. This book, I will present models of the right hemisphere in attachment and unconscious processes of Freud's. And I've suggested that, that the, the right hemisphere is Freud's biological substrate of the unconscious, but also in trauma, including borderline personality disorders and disorganized attachment, but also repression, insecure avoidant and insecure anxious attachments, also models of grandiose and vulnerable narcissism, as well as intersubjectivity, love, as well as hyperscanning studies of the therapist and the patient, where each of them is now scanned and we can get some idea of what their interaction is between themselves, as well as how this model applies to what is happening in U.S. cultures and the stresses in the U.S. cultures. And ultimately, my conclusion out of this is that the right hemisphere is the foundation of human nature and the foundation of the human personality. I think it expands the clinical models that I have done before, et cetera. And a good deal of this book is new. So I've really never talked about, let's say, narcissistic personality disorders. Here, the book also provides evidence also of how this has been applied and cited uh, across the board and validated by so many clinicians. So it's, it's, the, it's a psychobiological uh, integration here which then is applies to all forms of psychotherapy now and the change mechanisms in all psychotherapy. So it, it's moving into new realms there with this general model. On the last chapter, uh, I discussed the increase in violence in this, in this country, but also how it applies to political situations, including the application of what we now know about narcissistic personality disorders and how that relates to um, the current leaders in the United States at this point in time, et cetera. So it now is more than the individual. This is the culture and, if you will, the collective unconscious of the culture and how neuroscience and regulation theory informs that also.